Okay YouTube, today we're going to be uh, slugging a rifle bore. Now, the reason that you would need to slug a bore is so you can choose the proper bullet diameter for get, to get the best accuracy out of uh, whichever firearm you're going to be using. Uh, in this case, today we're going to be slugging this uh, Finnish M39 so we can figure out exactly what um, diameter cast bullet we need to utilize for it. Um, but anyway, you're going to need whatever rifle you're going to be slugging. You're going to need some 31 caliber soft round balls. Uh, these are made by Hornady, but you can use any brand. You're going to need some Lee case lube. You're going to need some patches. You're going to need your cleaning rod with whatever patch puller you're going to use. You're going to need a pair of dykes as well as one of these uh, quarter inch dowel rods that you get at Home Depot, Lowe's, or whatever. Because what you're going to do, you're going to cut this rod into about six or seven inch sections. So go ahead and do that first to get all your materials prepped. Also, you're going to need some sort of uh, just standard oil because what I like to do is I like to oil the bore before I push one of these balls through it. So I want to go ahead and cut this rod into sections. We're going to get started. Also, I forgot to mention you're going to need your, uh, your calipers to measure your round ball when it comes out. And you're also going to need some sort of soft mallet. Now, this is a rubber mallet. This is not what you want to use. You don't want to use a rubber mallet. If possible, you need to use a plastic gunsmithing mallet. You know, that's made for this kind of stuff. This rubber mallet will work, but as you can see what we're, well, with what we're about to do, it just may require a little bit more time, but this should work just fine. So I got my mallet. You definitely don't want to use a metal mallet, so uh, we're going to move on to our first step. Okay, the first thing you want to do, um, some people might argue as to, you know, whether or not this is necessary, but what I like to do is go ahead and take a coat of rim oil or brake free and go ahead and coat the bore with a generous amount of oil okay just pass the patch through a couple of times just to make sure you got a good coat of oil and that's going to keep the uh, lead ball you know from getting stuck or anything like that you know or giving you any kind of weird readings so we've got our um, oil inside the, the barrel all right go ahead and take your um, 31 caliber uh, round lead ball and take you some case lube now if you're using something like imperial sizing wax you know that that's not going to work. You want to use some sort of you know uh, soft liquid type lube. You know either the RCBS case lube or you know here have the Lee. Go ahead and lube your lead ball. All right, we're going to move on to slug this barrel. All right, the first thing you want to do, you want to stand the rifle up in some secure fashion. Here I've got Jacob helping me hold it, but if you have to rig up some kind of vice or something, go ahead and do that. Start the lead ball in the muzzle end. And with your soft non-marring hammer, hopefully this is going to work for us, we're going to go ahead and start the bar, ball. Down the barrel. Go ahead and flatten out the, um, flatten out the ball as much as you can. And go ahead and use the dowel rod to continue pushing it down the barrel. I'm going to use this tack hammer. Okay, we've got the ball started through the muzzle, and that's why you have these set, uh, dowel rods cut into sections, because you're going to stack the sections and push the ball through the bore. So we're going to go ahead and get him down, and then we're going to stack another. All right, and we're going to stack another. musical instrument. All right, stack another. We should have a swaged Ooh. slug ah, cool. of the bore and this should be give us our bore diameter. Can I have this? No, not yet. All right, so we're going to move on to, we're going to measure this slug and see what our bore diameter is. All right, to get your uh, rod pieces out, just go ahead and push them out with the bore coated uh, well, the idea is to grab them, genius. Anyway, all right, and very quickly, while I got the camera going, there's a little bit of lead deposit in the barrel, but that's no problem. You're just going to clean it right out. We're going to go on to measure, and I know, the, I know the weapon's pointing right at the camera, but we know this is unloaded. I mean, we're following, you know, safety, safety standards here. So now we're going to measure our, bore, our uh, slug that came out. You rolling? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Uh, M39 bore diameter is usually somewhere around 311. 310. So this Mosin Nagant slugs at 310, which means that a commercially available 311 diameter bullet should do just fine. Now I'm talking about cast bullets. Now, with jacketed bullets, this gun would likely not handle a 308 diameter very well in terms of accuracy. I could probably push a jacketed 311 bullet out of this rifle with no problem whatsoever and the accuracy would probably be very good. But a 311 diameter bullet dropped straight out of say an infield mold or even some of the 308 diameter uh, molds that Lee puts out, the 309 diameter, it'll drop a bullet that is say 311. That bullet as dropped can be shot straight out of this rifle and accuracy should be very nice. So that's how you slug a rifle barrel.